Well, it is the season for cookie plates and holiday treats. That's right, and we are continuing our sharing of our holiday traditions of the KPVI News 6 family. We have our reporter Deanne Coffin with us, and Deanne, you brought a special friend with you. Yes, this, is, you bring? this is my good friend Shauna today, and she'll be helping us make some salted caramel pretzel bark. It's my favorite oh. treat. Oh. Yeah, it's my okay. favorite treat that this she makes. Delicious. And it's so easy that even I can make it. Any, so candy, that's pretty <laughs> any candy with the word bark in it is mm -hmm. awesome. That is right. right. So Shauna, how do we get started on this? Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to take a like a regular cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. I tried this with the Texas sheet cake pan. Don't use a Texas sheet cake because the recipe won't fill it up. It's so too big then. So you want a smaller sheet. Regular sheet size cookie okay. sheet. We're gonna Dan's gonna here. put so tin foil on the bottom Arizona of it. So you're looking at an Arizona cookie sheet as opposed to a Texas? <laughs> Everything's yeah. bigger in Texas, right? <laughs> so you want the... Yeah, you're gonna line the pan with your okay. tin foil. Okay. And then you're gonna take about a half a bag of mini pretzels. And you wanna make sure that they're a single layer because you have to like spread your caramel and yeah. chocolate over oh, top. You, you want them to be all spread out. So no in, doubling up. No yeah. doubling up <laughs> and get them in as snug as you possibly can. Cozy. Okay. Cozy. While we're doing that, We've got one cup of butter okay. that we're going to put in this pan. We have one cup of brown sugar. Mm. That's literally... Why do you taste so good? That mm -hmm. is brown literally sugar. the caramel. That's about... Oh, okay. For the caramel. So she makes the homemade cup. caramel, which I was amazed with. I didn't oh. know you could make homemade caramel. Well, then you're going to want to put that on medium heat. <laughs> okay. And let that melt till it comes to a small boil. Melt and mix together. And then continue stirring it. You're going to want it. That's why you want to do this first, so you don't have to pull away from okay. the Okay. Okay. Yeah, caramel is kind of like when it gets to that Pay moment, attention. you just have to do yeah. it right then, right? And it's right? about three to four minutes that you're going to let it boil. Okay. Until it starts getting really, until it starts getting pretty thick and frothy. Okay. And and then you're going to take it off. Is there, a certain, oven, though. is there a certain temperature that you need to medium. get it to? Just medium. Just okay, medium but you, I'm medium heat. see on the thickness. But like as far as the caramel, do you need to get it a certain temperature, or you just kind I of, just you, do when you know visual. it, you see it? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you'll you know it when it starts to get thick and pulls off okay. the bottom of the pan. Okay. So then you'll put it in the oven for five minutes. On okay. 350, make sure it's Okay, so we poured the caramel. I'm sorry, I just scratched you. Pull the caramel over. Make sure that's ready, though, because as soon as your caramel and your chocolate's ready, you have to go. Okay, pour it right on. Right. So no we, second we chances. We did this one ahead, so this is what it's going to look like okay. with the caramel. Oh. You're going to have your chocolate. It's almost like peanut brittle looking right now. Mm, so good. And, and you're going to melt over. your chocolate. This is white oh. chocolate. Oh, yes it Eight is. Eight ounces of chocolate. You can do white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever you want. You can even put, put a food, food coloring in it. In it. Oh. Evenly make distribute it, you know, it over. Swirl, kind of make it look yeah. Christmassy. Yeah. yeah. So you're like just going to spread that around like that. And then, Deanne, if no. you want to get the kosher salt, just put some in your hand and sprinkle it over oh, the okay. top. Okay, so I'm guessing you want the kosher because it's there, it's bigger, it's right? Bigger. You want chunks okay. of salt. Bigger. Yeah. All right, we'll let you put so that So we're just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top. Oh. And for those when of you're that done, don't like peanuts, it gives you that salty. Salty and sweet. Mm -hmm. And you put it in the oven for how long? You but don't. It's oh, done. It's and now done. you're going to put it in, in the, the refrigerator. Oh, okay. oh, okay. To keep it cool down. And then you get this. Oh. Okay, yeah. let's hurry and try this. Oh. We're about out of time, and you this is okay. something we must just try. Break it off. Just take it and just break it off. Break it up and okay. put it on a Christmas There is something oh. about that sweet and salty that is just like amazing. Makes great, great Christmas gifts to give to your neighbors or friends. Put it in a nice little tin. Nice little tin or on a decorative little holiday plate. That is delicious. And it is so good. This is my favorite thing. And it's just my basic you know, ingredients that okay. we all have in our pantry. So oh. it works Deanna out great. and Shauna, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll have this on our website. Coming up next, we'll hear one of the musical acts that will be performing at the ISU New Year's Eve Gala.